I have been manipulated almost every day for the last 30 years. I, I have covered the White House for Time Magazine for many of those years, and everything that we do is manipulated. That is, that's what they do. And you take pictures of it. No, fortunately, I have to say that through my whole career, working at the beginning as a freelance for several newspaper and magazine like the New York Times or Der Spiegel and USA Today, and, and then for the AP, and, and now for Getty Images, I've never been instrumentalized by any of my uh, editors or by any government or organization. I mean, obviously, I mean, when you do take a picture, you know, then you write a caption behind and then the picture can be used by a lot of different newspaper and magazine and they can write whatever they want. So in that case, you know, I don't have a completely full control of, of my own uh, work, I would say, but which is a pity, but at the same time, uh, you can avoid people thinking whatever they want about the picture you took. Uh, the problem with the media is that once you shoot, uh, you have no control over your work because uh, there are always larger interests that make your work appear in a certain manner, use it, whether it's by cropping or use it in a context. And that's something I went into the media with my eyes wide open, knowing that the control would be much less. And that's one of the reasons, as I say, I'm going back to my documentary tradition, is because I like to be able to have the context and the control of what I want to say and why I want to say and how I want to say it. And I've always been that way right from the beginning. So there was an intermediate period where I worked with for a photo agency, uh, which was the Gamma Liaison Network. And uh, I worked in the system the way the system uh, worked. You do try and send detailed captions explaining what's going on. Uh, if you have a good relationship with the magazine, you talk to the magazine editors and let them know what's important and why it is. But then at the end of the day, it's an, a machine of its own and they do what they do and uh, you are just uh, function within that system. So it bothers me, it's always bothered me, uh, it will continue to bother me and I think the way to be able to handle it is to be able to have your own voice and do your own projects which are much more personal and try and see how they can be presented uh, in the best possible manner. I think I'm quite conscious of people, organization, governments, whoever, people who want to, to, to try to uh, use photographs or journalists as propaganda, to, propaganda tools. Uh, I think as, as long as you're aware of it uh, and you have a good understanding of the situation, you, you can actually play that to your advantage because very often in a war zone or in a revolution or in, in humanitarian crisis you will have people uh, or groups that have an agenda and want to use you to, to sort of promote their agenda. Well, you should, I think, uh, use this will of these groups to, to use you in order to access the situation and then you do your job as you see fit. And, um, well, you know, you, 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 you should never leave your ethics and your beliefs, but um, you can actually use the, the, the will of governments or people to, to make you show something. Uh, when we were, that there were, we were a few photojournalists in Baghdad before the war, and of course the Ministry of Information wanted uh, us to, dis to show that everything was normal, everything was nice and beautiful in Iraq. Uh, and they actually let us quite a lot of freedom. And at that moment, 
I personally felt uh, that uh, I didn't like the regime, but what I really didn't like was the uh, interference of the United States and, let's say, the coalition uh, that wanted to make a war to a country that had not done anything at that point to justify something like that. So this war was definitely illegal, was the result of a lie, was the result of uh, American propaganda and Israeli propaganda. Um, and I was against that war before it even came. So um, I didn't see the problem of actually going where the, minister, the Iraqi Ministry of Information was saying, oh, do you want to photograph this? Do you want to visit this? Uh, and I always said yes. Um, when you look at my work in Iraq, I really don't think that I was you know, a propaganda tool for the regime. But to actually accept their offers to show me this and this and that, to take me here and there, I actually managed to see much more than I could have done on my own. Uh, and there was no way I could have done on my own because they wouldn't have let me. So in other words, you, you just act you know, according to your values in any circumstances and you take what you are given uh, and you remain critical and subjective. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, people, as I said, you know, they try all the time, but the, 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 the more insidious things is that you produce a body of work um, and then a magazine picks within that body of work what represents their agenda and masks the rest. And that is really difficult to, to fight against, much more difficult than you know, the Iraqi Ministry of Information trying to, to send you somewhere to, sh to have you show something. The worst part is you go back from a, a difficult situation and a magazine editor who was sitting on, behind a, a desk in New York or London or Paris um, decides that he wants to tell the story his own way and he's going to pick the few pictures in your story that actually fulfill his, his agenda and that and, and leave all the rest and not show the rest and that is something is, that is very difficult to fight against because if you want to show a story, let's say Iraq before the war, obviously you show elements of the regime and you show them in a positive way and also in a critical way because it's, it's never white or black. I mean, despite what it says on my T-shirt, uh, it's actually cynical. That there, there, you know, everything is a compromise. Everything is grey. Uh, there were positive things about Saddam Hussein regime. There were a lot of negative things, but there were positive things. And you can somebody sitting on a desk in Washington can remove the positive elements and leave only the pictures that I took that would seem to be a drastic condemnation of the regime. But that wouldn't be honest, because that wouldn't be what I meant to say. And that is, to me, more difficult to fight, more, more insidious. Everything we make, in a way, has to end, or should end in, a, in the media, which means that just by nature of that, you have to make some compromises, just not only on a political, moral level, but even on a visual level because it depends who you work for, what you're going to bring to him and so on. So up to that certain extent, we are all used and manipulated. And because I think photographers forget that we are suppliers. Uh, without us, there's no content in the media. So, uh, so actually, we should have the power. But um, I think photographers often forget that because that's, that's pain, that's difficult to cope with. And um, so, yeah, so I mean, you should take the power back, but uh, no, joking. I think for, I think we are all, at, at up to a certain extent, instrumentalized and used just by the nature of the media and the nature of of the of our clients. But uh, I think we can fight that at least by supplying them with images that we really strongly stand behind, and and that's the way to avoid being uh, used. But. Uh, yeah, it definitely changes your mind because, again, you're selling your stuff and you're selling yourself in a way to a client. So you do have to think about, you know, what you're going to go and do, why and where and so on. And, you know, the, the, the only thing you can do is try to be true to yourself. And, uh, and that ain't easy. 
and uh, yeah you do lose a compass you know from time to time because you do have a pressure of getting published because you know it's publish or perish so it's that's the that's the you know as the you know name of the game so um, it does affect and uh, but it's also very very inside so um, like all things so personally yeah of course I, I think I feel the I feel the influence I feel the way it affects me uh, I still don't see it affecting my photography but I do see it affecting me as a personality the constant uh, struggle to getting published and getting the right things done for right people and so on but uh, you know time will tell